Hey guys, welcome back to Critical Flick. Today I'm going to give my final thoughts on devs from FX on Hulu. So as you saw in my first two reviews of the show, you know that I really enjoy Alex Garland's work and I think this is an excellent show that's been created. But I do have to say, the ending wasn't my absolute favorite thing in the world and I will go into some spoilers when I talk about this. So if you haven't finished the series, I definitely recommend checking it out, especially before you watch this video. So all in all, I think that Alex Garland was able to craft a world that is up to his standards, you're able to blend the idea of life and eternity and artificial intelligence and all the things that are the hallmarks of his career. And the way that he's able to create this setting, this idea of a almost utopian future, this combination of naturalistic and artificial and just that blend of the, the you know, something that creates this very beautiful thing that's also terrifying in the same way. He's able to do that so well, and he's able to do that with a composer that works with him and also very good cinematography. Just that whole aspect, the actual technical aspects of this show are top notch. And the acting, I also think that it grew on me a little bit more. I said that I thought Nick Offerman's Forrest was an exceptional character, but all the other supporting characters really started to shine in the second half of the series, and especially in the finale. We're starting to see more of what's going on with Willie's character. Like I had said previously, I thought she was a little boring, a little stale of a character, but once you see that fire lit inside of her, it creates a far more compelling character. In her relationship with her ex-boyfriend, and seeing that end scene where you're kind of seeing her change her destiny in a way, I loved that part of the, end of the finale. Now speaking strictly of the last episode of the series, the way that they try to wrap it up and explain what's happening in this circular loop, they bring that up at times in the show, especially in the last episode, that Time is almost a circle, and you can try and do things and it'll repeat itself. There's ultimate parallel universes. They dive into these really, really complex theories, and I felt that in the first couple episodes, they explain it really well for someone who's not super versed into these things, but when it gets down to the last episode or two, they fully dive into some extremely complex theories of quantum physics and string theory and all these different ideas of how parallel universes work and time works, and I was lost. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. The last episode, things happen and I'm just rolling with it. And I feel like they try to explain it. And maybe I just didn't understand it fully, but I felt a little lost. And I know that people felt that way with his work in Annihilation. And that's a really understandable criticism. And I would have felt like it worked better like Ex Machina, his first film. You get a ending that is slightly ambiguous, but you get the point. You understand what's happening. You're not left there scratching your head like what just happened. You get this to a lesser degree than Annihilation, but you still get there in the finale. But all that being said, the last couple scenes when you see Forrest having achieved his goal, you see Lily kind of achieving what she wanted to do and realizing who she is as a person, they were satisfying character arcs because Forrest was a very compelling character. Throughout the series, he's someone that you're rooting for, but then you're not because he's like an anti-villain. He's a bad guy, but you know what he's doing is good and you understand his internal struggle and he's kind of doing this for the greater good idea. And just having this fully come to realization of these personal utopias that they created for themselves, I think that worked. And if you see that last conflict scene where it's flipping back and forth between the different universes in the devs facility, how that's gone, it's not there anymore because this is a different timeline, this is a completely different thing, it was well done. That, that different scenes were well done. There's also a visual effect that they use a lot in the last two episodes that's underscored by certain uses of music that I think were executed extremely well. You have the idea of events can keep taking place and there's slight, very slightly differences between what's happening each time it happens. And they do this visual effect where you see someone walking away, you're seeing an event occurring, but it's just ever so slightly different each time. It's used in the scene where the girl is falling from the dam. It's used again multiple times when people are trying to play out what's going to happen in the future. And I thought that works really well to get that point across, that concept across. And like I had mentioned earlier, the way that Alex Garland is able to create this beautiful yet horrifying scenario, he's able to get that across in the theming of the show. You have this beautiful machine that's creating this infinite possibility to understand the past and just develop and just push humanity to a next level, reaching the pinnacle of what humans can achieve. But then that's horrifying at the same time because you know what's going to happen. And that dread yet peace of knowing the future and knowing the past and knowing that things are infinitely changing and nothing really means anything. It's a really interesting concept and you really can wrap your mind around it. It's definitely something that you could dive into. The show kind of provides a gateway to looking into these philosophical ideas. And I think that's something he does well in his different works, whether it be Ex Machina or Annihilation, is just being able to dive into a philosophical concept and put it into a form 
that is consumable in a media of a movie or a show. So all in all, I really enjoyed Devs. I think it was an excellent limited series. I do feel like it would be better served as a feature film. I would have liked this at like a two and a half hour movie. Having it dragged out across these multiple episodes, you did get a few that felt a little slow. You do get some moments that feel like they kind of just had to fill in space. But overall, the concepts, the acting, just the overall look and ambience of this thing is something I really enjoy. So again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and let me know if you saw devs. Did you enjoy it? Did you follow it through to the end? It definitely feels like a show that people might give up on before you get to the finale, but I'd recommend making it all the way through. And who was your favorite character? What was your favorite concept that they used? Because there's a lot of big picture ideas that they dive into. And do you have any theories about maybe what's happening or how these things work? Because I feel like it's definitely something you can talk about. It's definitely a think piece for people to converse about these kind of concepts. So again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and see you guys next time.